Hey everyone, welcome to our Wednesday wellness positive or uh, positive health chat. It is a positive <laughs> health chat. And actually, yeah. uh, why we're I said that today it was a Freudian slip because it's actually um, positive attitude month. So we're going to talk quickly about a positive attitude, why positive attitudes are so important. And you probably know they are, right? Because you feel there we go, positive vibes. Yep, and I got mine. Believe, inspire, impact. So yeah, we're here to represent. So um, I want to talk about like why it's important, what, what it does to you health-wise if you have a positive attitude. One thing it is it helps you to live longer because you have less stress levels, which is good. It can help um, combat sickness. You don't get sick as often. You don't die as early. So these are all good positive things. Um, and it just it has, helps you to have a whole positive mental well-being, which is good. Um, less risk of death from heart disease, believe it or not. So healthy heart, happy heart equals long life. <laughs> and um, also more developed uh, coping skills, you know, help, help you with, the, with coping skills, with, with just managing all the stressors or things that are going on in life. If you put a positive spin on it, it just changes everything. And if you, and here's one thing, I think my husband and I make each other laugh every day. And I think that's been a secret of, you know, a happy marriage, but um, it just breaks a lot of ice too. If something's going on and you make a joke about something and then it's, you, you laugh about it and it's not as bad as you thought it was type of thing. Exactly. Yeah. I saw a quote not too long ago and it said, the things that are, you think are terrible that you're experiencing right now will be such small things a year from now. And sometimes I feel like we blow things out of proportion. I know I do from my, my own personal experience. Um, I think they're worse than they are. And I'll give you a little example. I'm putting my Halloween decorations out yesterday and my poor witch hats kept blowing off the porch and <laughs> losing the string. And I was getting so irritated. So I, I go back to in an emotional intelligence training that I took and you probably did do this too, Kim, because you took the same trainings, but the um, person that was leading us through the training said, when things happen like that, don't let them take over you and bring a negativity to you. If something happens like that, go, yes, that is amazing. <laughs> that hat just blew down the street and I ran after it. Yes. <laughs> instead of getting yourself all upset yeah. and if you do that it's kind of like what you said with Jim it makes you laugh because you're like you know that it's irritated you but if you say yes it just puts that instant smile on your yeah, face exactly so. I think I totally agree with what you said I think that's great and um just I mean you know when when things happen I, and I look at that too is like that's a first world problem put it in perspective Right. Like so many things. That's so yeah. good, Kim. We're not like we're not at war. We're not. Yeah. We're safe. Are, they're so tiny. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway. Yeah. So that's Robin, such a, that's a, such a good one. You're All right. Share so, how to have a positive attitude. I am. I'm going to bring up my little list here. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read. So here, this is such a great tip. Write it down. So if you're feeling negative, list the negative things in your life that really upset you and make you lose control. And see, sometimes if you see them on paper, um, you can address them easier, right? Just cross them off the list, address it and cross it off. And by the way, we're taking this information from um, the actual Positive um, Attitude Month uh, uh, website webpage. Yeah calendar um let go of expectations and this is so good this as well i learned with emotional intelligence is sometimes we have such high expectations for ourselves um, that if we don't meet those expectations then negativity starts to come in so don't let them be unrealistic make realistic expectations for yourself and for other people because guess what sometimes we have expectations and i'm laughing because i have so many expectations for other people <laughs> you're going to be let down every single time and yeah. 
I'll tell you a funny little thing really quick and <laughs> close your ears if, if you don't like to hear things like this, but listen, like people who walk their dogs and don't pick up the doo-doo, like my expectations are, re I mean, <laughs> that's, that's a high expectation. Like not even a high expectation. I expect you to I don't think it's up. a high, that's like, a, <laughs> right. Like, and why are you not don't. doing that? Yeah. Like that makes me so like, it makes me get a negative attitude. <laughs> so anyway, it just happened today. So that's why I brought that up. All right. Respond. Don't react. Mm. And that's such a good thing too. And that's a good lesson that I've learned in the past few years is like, don't react to things respond and think about your response before you respond right and yeah. and don't react and then surround yourself with positive people because listen the more you have a positive people in your life the more positive you're going to be hence kim and i i mean she's like my positive confidant and go to and like Likewise. her husband she says with her and you know Greg and I do the same thing we start we start laughing so if you hang around negativity it's going to take over with oh, you over um what is the old saying um misery loves company right you know and I and I have a kind of a um a little analogy or a little example so when I was in college and I lived in the sorority we would change uh, roommates every every semester. We changed roommates, and I remember, and I, I loved all my roommates. But one semester, I got this girl who I still love. She every time she came into the room, like our room, it was something negative she would say. It would be something down. And I'm like, and so every time she came, I almost got look said I wasn't looking forward to her ever coming to the room because it was always a negative. Like she always led with something negative, it was bringing me down. Right. One time. So then. Actually, she recognized it and she came in one time. She said, I just realized I'm like being negative every time I, I come in or coming back from classes or whatever it was, she was, I've been so negative. I'm, and she apologized. I mean, oh, that's good for college girls. You know, I thought that, right. was, that was really eye opening because I remember thinking, golly, it's bringing me down because I'm a positive person. You're a positive person. I mean, it's like, we, we like that positive energy going on, right? You are around uh, e or because we've known some Eeyores in our life, um, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's true. just like, it does bring it down. You're like, oh, it does. I want to be around you, you know? No, for sure. Um, I know I have a quote here. I'm looking up real quick. Um, but before we go on to, um, before we end, here's, here's something, another thing that I have found that's helped me. Um, when you help other people, and you make them happy or you do something good for someone that like makes positivity just flow through you so i don't care if it's saying good morning how are you to someone if it is i love your pants those are so cute like you will get a smile from them and then that will make you feel warm and fuzzy inside so if you're feeling because listen we all have times when we're feeling down i've said to kim you know hopped on God, I'm just having a terrible day, you know, and that's why you meet up with people. That's why you try to do positive things to bring that positive light back into, yeah. into your heart, into your being. And a big part um, of it is connection. It's having that connection with yeah, other people. Yeah, right. But and I do that like every day when I share my positive quotes on yeah, my Facebook and Instagram. Because listen, I get messages from people like all the time privately saying, thank you so much for posting that. It resonated with me today. And I am just like, yay, I'm not going to stop doing it. So for those who don't like my positive, <laughs> what's the matter with you? In my post, um, listen, I'm not going to stop. So just like hide me, I, you know, because it makes other people feel good. And if I can make other people feel good and feel positive and not negative, um, I'm going to keep doing it. That's an easy thing to do too. It's like passing yeah. on, is keeping that energy vibe going, that good, good positive energy vibe. So, like you said, yep. the vibe. So, anyway, yep. this is great. I, I feel I feel better already. <laughs> so here's my positive quote. Okay, got it. And this is from Willie Nelson, the man Willie Nelson. Once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you'll start having positive results. And that's so true. 
right? Like it. Everything just looks brighter. I like my witch hats are still up. They're not blowing around. I'm happy now because I said yes. <laughs> You're so funny. All right. All right. Well, thanks, Robin. It was fun. And uh, yep. everybody, have a positive day, have a positive week, and have a positive month and a positive year. That's right. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye.